What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. We are wearing life jackets, and we are going out on the water, and we have kayaks what? ready. What is, what is, what? What is what? this? Michigan frigid, four plus months out of the year. Us not fishing during that time, not fun. So for my Southern folks, good for you. For us, we're finally back. All right, so today what we're doing is we're gonna go through our top baits that you need to be fishing right now. And by right now, we mean these colder, like early spring, super late winter type months, right? So if you guys are in the Midwest, you're feeling this right now. Anybody up North, you get it. So we're gonna go through those right now. And actually a lot of this will work down South too. So let us take you guys through what's in our tackle boxes today. What we plan on fishing a bunch today, what our focus is. And you should also go use these things right now. While you're considering all that, you know, subscribe, like, notification bell, do all the stuff to find out about the other stuff that we do. Okay, so what you guys are looking at right now, this is my day box. This is stuff that I plan on fishing most of the time. Now there are spinner baits in here just cause I kind of leave them in there year round. I don't really intend on using those today. What I do intend on using the most, let go of your brother. What do I intend on using the most is probably like a deep jerk bait. Now I've got loud ones and I got silent ones today. I just got this in my six cents box, for example. So we got the silent deep diver. So we're gonna test that out. So jerk baits, huge, whether it's two treble, three treble. You know, some people say like downsize this time of year. I actually say you can do both, right? Downsize definitely works. Upsize also works. So sometimes I'm throwing that like 106, 110 millimeter variety jerk bait with three trebles and Chances are you can get a good catch out of that. Jerk, what do you got? Jerk baits work all year round. So I also Hunted. have a jerk bait. I will say. It opens the other way, buddy. I know. Just the God, lid I goes. I forget every time you guys. So, so this is the, well, this is a cast king. I think it's called the hyper seal. Uh, it's basically a Plano edge knock and it's for the price, like super good deal. Uh, that said, you gotta remember it's got plastic tabs instead of a metal bar. So it's a what? We're gonna test the durability this year. And the hinge always throws us off because the edge is open. I wanna grab this and I'm like, bar bar, open. <laughs> and that's because you do this instead, you moron. So here you we gotta are. get used to it. I think two to three on the jerk baits, colors, mm -hmm. dark, white, and then something else a little different that matches your forage. So Tennessee shad, bluegill, whatever. And then size, you got upsize, downsize. As I well. sure do. So I have some little bitty, bitty baby size for the BFS. Uh, Is that a mega bass? You bougie they, bastard. They, they both are. Oh my God. I, uh, you disgust me. I'm Put your pinky up disgusted right now. Disgusted with myself. Pinky. Swing. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> as far as jerkbait setup, so you can see I got a Smithwick right there. I'm going to be testing out for today. I just made fun of you for mega bass. Yeah, and you, you sure, here well, I am with a, there, yeah, with a Levante. <laughs> What I love to fish a jerkbait on would be a medium, moderate, or moderate fast rod. That slower action is gonna make it easier to play the fish. You do have three trebles on there, but you can lose fish, especially if they're short striking and just hitting that rear treble right now. Having that moderate action is a huge helper. Uh, and on that note, I'm testing out a new rod. And so real. I'm excited about that. And real, look at this. I hope this doesn't blow up in my face, but we got the <laughs> Arc Gravity 5 paired up with the Mega Bass Levante, which is the only affordable Mega Bass rod in my opinion. So one thing I am also testing, so we have some blade baits, we have some tailspins, tail spins, thank underspins. you. Underspins. Yep, yep, but the underspin, this one is from Great Lakes Finesse, it's their sneaky underspin. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about this one, We're gonna catch but on. I'm very excited about, about using this. I have a plastic that's gonna go with it from Great Lakes Finesse as well, but that's a big one for me too, is I'm gonna put a whole category of anything with a blade, underspin, mm -hmm. tailspin, blade bait. Those three yep. metal things, are gonna get it done time. for sure in the cold weather. And the plastic you're pairing up with that actually, oh, yeah. I'm just gonna show them, yep. is this right here. So Great Lakes Finesse, can you gander somewhere else? Look at him go. <laughs> Look. Welcome There's back. Oh my gosh. Hi, honeys. Well, we'll stay away from them. All right, so what you're pairing up with that sneaky underspin is this right here. We both are gonna be fishing these a bunch today. I'm actually gonna hover rig these as well. And you can hover stroll these if you want to, but this is the Great Lakes Finesse 2.75 inch drop minnow. Got about four different colors I think we picked up yep. that we're gonna test out. So Paul mentioned blade baits, metal baits, things like that. I wanna share with you guys a couple of our faves. Blade baits, great option. So this is the Guppy from Fish Lab. It's a pretty solid blade baits. There's thousands of blade baits out there i also have one from monster bass in here as i reach into this bed of hooks i do also have a mega bass in here so i'll throw a pinky out here's one from monster bass i got last year that i never got to test out uh, very similar to a lot of good blade baits out there that i've seen so i personally like to work those on spinning rigs just because it's lighter gear i want to use that lighter line and i want to work that bait more slowly through the water column it just tends to be easier that way versus a bait caster in my opinion next one i want to show you guys that i love i'm going to show you three different ones i'll be using today we got a tailspin now 
Now, Tailspin is gonna be my more aggressive approach for the day. So that was a six sense gyro spin. We got the Fish Lab Bio Spin with a Willow Blade. And then I've got this bad boy right here from Molex. So Tailspins are fantastic. There's something about metal baits in cold water that really just attracts these fish. They're drawn to it. Uh, and with a Tailspin, you get a little nice subtle action. If you go with the Willow Blade, you're kind of burning it. If you go with the Colorado Blade, it slows the bait down. You can work it a little bit more through that strike zone a little bit longer. Uh, so I'll probably be throwing those first today. If the fish turn up, if it heats up today, we'll go to the willow blades. If you want to run it over cover, over grass as much as you can, off of drop offs, off of weed lines, wherever you can find those different like target areas where those fish are. And for that, I'm going to be running it on this setup right here. I'm going to cut this chatter bait off, but we've got the Akuma Hakai. This is an eight one to one gear ratio reels. I can do a fast retrieve or a slow retrieve on something like this. And I'll be running this on a uh, another new rod. <laughs> it's all the new stuff we're testing out today, really. But we got the TFO Professional series. Now these are all moderate fast rods in the professional. They're either moderate or moderate fast. So it makes it a pretty good option when I'm running that treble bait tail spins. Usually you got a single treble running off of those uh, This is a seven foot medium action. And then I've got 20 pound test braid on that with 10 pound test fluorocarbon line. Now we are sticking with finesse and why are we sticking so much with finesse? Cold water, clear water, finicky fish that are not moving fast. That's why we're going finesse presentations. So the next up for me is gonna be a drop shot. I have a couple options I'm testing out this year. One is the Panorama from Sixth Sense. Haven't got a chance to use it, would really like to. Uh, mule fishing. The Mule Minnow is one of my all-time favorite drop shots. That's always going to work. Then I have the Great Lakes Finesse Drop Worm. This one isn't like a caution color. Um, I like to, I start typically more natural, but I'm just going to mess around with this one. Clear water. Shockingly, this has become one of my favorites for clear water. Don't ask me why. It just seems to have worked for me. So I'm going to mess around with it. You can't go wrong with the drop shot. You can customize the size. You customize the depth. Super slow. It's a winner. For me on the drop shot, I like a medium light. I have the sneaky underspin on here now, but uh, as a kayak angler, I think it's really important to have rods that can do a couple different things for you. The medium light for me is exactly that. It hits the drop shot, it hits some of the lighter underspins, the lighter swim baits, the lighter everything, the Ned rig, all that. So what I have is the TFO Option Bass uh, medium light. This is a seven footer um, and it's a fast action. Super broad uh, range and drop shot, underspin, all that kind of stuff is gonna work for that, as well as even some of those uh, metal baits too. After that, I'm gonna go the exact opposite direction. I'm going to upsize a couple of things as well. Now this, this one is tricky. You gotta be able to go slow with these, uh, or you have to really be able to find those fish and know that you're fishing in a fishy area. If not, it's gonna be kind of a challenging day. Now, as far as big rigs, I do have something really, really cool that I'm testing out this year, and this is on my BFS setup. Check out that ultra light, I mean truly micro A-Rig. That is made by a, a gentleman, George DLC on Instagram, George DLC 12. It's the only place, the only way you can get it is if you message him directly on Instagram. At this point, that's the only thing I can guide you towards. So sorry, I can't do more than that. And I am apparently hooked on my own jacket. Not ideal. Hey, if you wanted to know what the next bait was, this is it. So downsized A-Rig, super excited to, to just mess around with that. We've been waiting for this water to open up almost exclusively for that. You can't go full size A-Rig. I absolutely have one of those. One that I'm gonna be trying out that we messed around with last year is the Yum Brella, the Flash Mob Junior. A little bit downsized, but still decent size. And then I think Jeff has the new Tactical Bassin Micro and Mini A-Rigs, which should be a lot of fun. Those are gonna throw in a more traditional, larger stick. Now, here's the thing. You can use a swim bait, but I do, I do recommend you don't want anything with a fast action. You kinda want a little bit more of a moderate action for that. It helps you sling the baits. It gives you a little more control. You do have to giant set the hook, but once you get stuck, like you're gonna keep that fish, which is really nice. All right, there's the mini. Yep micro i mean they are so, the mini is mini the micro is micro ish but that yeah. george dlc that is truly what i consider micro rigged out weighs less than a quarter of an ounce it's, it's bananas uh, and then the last thing i want to show you guys is something that again I, we talked a little bit about upsizing and what that can mean um i've got a couple different baits i'm going to be trying uh this season one is the cull shad slow thumper uh under treble i like this a lot is it a copy bait yeah yeah it's from a mega bass i get it but i'm still gonna try it because that's what we do here now you can also go glide i actually have a whole thing full of glide baits of all sizes i actually am going to be messing around with some six inch ones eight inch ones at the very at the max but like four to six inches i have some smaller glides i'd like to try 
And then I've got another one here, a little slow roller, the Molotron. Check that out. I think that could get it done. So the Z-Man is a line through top hook, low and slow. What I like about the top hook, I'm not dragging a treble hook from the belly all along the bottom. And I kind of want to be slow rolling on the bottom. So I'm excited to try that. And on all of those upsize baits, I'm going to have a swim bait rod. And what swim bait rod are we going to be messing with this season? The M1 from Phoenix. Holy crap. It is honestly one of the gorgeous, most gorgeous rods I've ever held in my life. It is beautiful. Very excited to try it out. I also have a new reel on this one too. This is the Corrado uh, 201 XG, the M. So it has the MGL spool in there and the Corrado. Um, it's, a, got a, it's a little bit fast on the retrieve speed, especially for this time of year. Uh, but I'm really excited to try it out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And last but not least, we go back finesse. This is this is just after last season, we put some time into these and I have a lot more confidence in them. Spy baits. If you get if you get a place where you need a suspending bait, you know the fish are like close to being super active, but they're just a little bit shut down. A spy bait is just murderous. You have a couple different options. The only thing about the spy bait, I've got it right now on the TFO Tactical Elite. It is a 7.6 medium light, really nice spinning setup. I like that it's longer. Um, you really need a long leader. And so I typically, I tend to like have one set up just for that. And then if I need to shorten the leader, if spy bait's not the day, I just shorten up the leader and use it for other stuff like drop shot, Ned rig, all that. But you kind of need a long leader. And by long, I mean like 20 feet, like at least 12, 15 feet of leader. I like the fluorocarbon personally, but that's just, I have found that it just works so much better than not having the extra long leader. Uh, it helps get the bait down. It helps you do this sort of like like rolling trough retrieve where you like bring it up and then you let it fall like on the retrieve. It just works so much better. So extra long leader, just do not leave that at home. You'll be upset. And finally, we've got the technique of the era, apparently the trend of all trends to end trends. It's a domestic <laughs> trend. It's been around yeah. for a while yeah. in like the JDM market or, you know, overseas market. But uh, the Let's hover go for a stroll. We're going to go for a stroll. So we've got the uh, Jackal Drift Fry and the Fish Arrow Flash J. And then I've got a couple of different hooks, but these are basically yep. just spine hooks. If you want to find them, you go ahead and look at uh, Bait Finesse Empire. You can find all this stuff. They basically told me what to get. I did what they say because they know what they're talking about. So we've got some spine hooks here, a couple of different models, and we've got some super ultra light um, nail weights to get the mid stroll if we want to. But these, this is the key for the strolling. Hover strolling, the roll is the key. So these combos right here are getting you the roll. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna be throwing this on BFS gear more than likely. I've got the uh, Mojo Bass from St. Croix with the Trigon grip. This is their new one. This is their like BFS setup. It is a 7-1 medium light, extra fast action, but it's actually kind of buttery. Um, and then I've got it paired up with the Daiwa Salamandura, um, all, all stuff that's available on Bay Finesse Empire. You can just copy the exact setup. It is juice. I'm very excited. This is gonna be fun. So there's a whole bunch of different baits that you guys should be using right now. Now, obviously you don't have to use all of them to catch fish. We just wanted to give you some ideas. This is the tackle that we're bringing out with us today, the gear that we're bringing out today, and hopefully we crush it. We're gonna crush it. We're gonna crush it. All right, well, we gotta go fish. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. If you like it and you wanna see how this goes for us, maybe you like, subscribe, do all those things. At any rate, we're gonna be fishing more, so stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll catch you later. Okay, bye. Goodbye.